every Instagram model and their mothers and their dogs and their helicopters are all going to these poppy fields to try to take photos for their Instagram pages. Instagram is collectively losing their cool over people who are taking photos in the poppy fields during the super bloom in California. California has gotten really heavy rains this year and there is an explosion of flowers all along the countryside. This has collectively caused something that city of Lake Elsinore is now calling the poppy apocalypse. There is roads completely shut down because the traffic is so bad you can't even get through the highway past the poppies. There are people being bitten by rattlesnakes. There are people getting hit by cars in the parking lots. We're basically getting mass hysteria over these poppies right now. Instagram over the last month or so has been absolutely exploding with poppy photos. But here's the problem. <laughs> there are now these accounts popping up. One of the main accounts is Public Lands Hate You. They are actually showcasing people who are putting in these poppy photos we also have the super bloom hates you also calling out instagram models on these poppy photos and these accounts are exploding and they are causing mass chaos on instagram right now what's the even the problem with people taking poppy photos basically california poppy is a bit of a sensitive little flower it's our state flower in california and it is extremely sensitive to compaction and being crushed. The soil that the poppy grows in cannot be compacted. So the problem with people trampling the poppies is unfortunately that compacts the soil and since they're public lands and there's no one tilling these lands, that poppy may not or probably will not grow back in that same place that is trampled on. So the problem comes is when people are going off trail and stepping on the poppies, they're not gonna grow there the next year. So who cares, it's just a dumb poppy. But these super blooms are so beautiful that if everyone was going off trail and compacting all the soil and crushing all the poppies, we're not gonna get a super bloom like this. And unfortunately, we're already starting to see the effects of trampling on the poppy populations. So on this Instagram page, you can see some of the impacts that people are going off trail and how now poppies are not growing in the areas where people are walking through. So while photos like this are extremely beautiful to have that orange background, unfortunately these photos are also extremely environmentally damaging. So here are some of the examples of the flattened vegetation in some of these Instagram models photos and what it looks like after the poppies are being trampled. So compacted soil, dead vegetation. These people are making new trails into these poppies habitat, but there's an option. You can still take some really beautiful photos on the official trails. So really there's no reason to go off of the trails. When people are going off the trails and they are location tagging their area, you're gonna get other people who are also gonna wanna get that perfect poppy shot. They're surrounded in a field of poppies, no trails to be seen, and that's the shot that everyone wants. Unfortunately, this is causing a lot of people to go off trail to try to get that shot of lying in the fields. So you might also think it's just one person, just a few people, who cares? When you see the footage of these trails, and the crowds, it's like some witnesses have actually said it's like Disneyland with the amount of people that are walking through these trails. When you see that level of crowding and every single person is going off trail or seeing other people go off trail, like it's no big deal. Unfortunately, we're not gonna get a super bloom like this again. So when you're going off trail to take a poppy photo, what these people are really saying is, my photo is more important than your children, your grandchildren's ability to see these beautiful nature areas again. A lot of people just don't know how sensitive the, the poppy is to them being crushed. There are some people who are trying to educate them and call them out on Instagram, which is why this whole chaos has begun. And they're actually going and finding the sponsors of these Instagram models to say, that they're promoting crushing poppies and that they should be removed from being sponsored by this company. Unfortunately, a lot of the companies actually don't even know anything about the poppies. A few adventure companies that have actually reposted Instagram photos of people crushing the poppies as something that, that is a good thing. Some Instagram influencers just are not listening to what people are saying about the poppies. Because the problem is, is when these Instagram influencers with thousands and thousands of followers are posting a poppy 
photo location tagged in the poppy field or whether or not you're explicitly saying it you are encouraging people to go out and take a poppy photo too because people are seeing that and your actions do have consequences people are going to go try to do what you did because they look up to you and that's the genuine truth is that you are an influencer and you influence people of what they're going to do so you have to think about how your photos might harm the environment and how it might influence people to make decisions that are not environmentally friendly. So there's a lot of pressure kind of on the backs of these influencers and unfortunately, a lot of them are kind of taking the wrong road and they are encouraging people to go take photos and they're deleting comments of people who are saying, please don't go off trail. This is a common response to some of the Instagram comment sections saying that you shouldn't crush poppies. So she says, no, we did not walk in the flower no, we did not walk on trampled flowers that flattened into a path. How would you get there to that spot if there was no trail? She, I think she's also said we used angles, we used Photoshop to make it look like we're standing in the middle of the poppies, but we're actually not. So even if you do do that and you personally didn't crush the poppies, post this photo to 45,000 people. So you are influencing them to go take a similar photo in the Super Bloom area. You are kind of responsible for what you're posting even if you're saying oh just kidding um i actually didn't do that so i am absolutely not advocating that anyone goes out and actually bullies these people who are posting these photos but if there's something to be said about whether or not calling people out on social media is an effective technique for change so i want to hear what you guys think about that is that approach too much? Is that just gonna scare people away? Or do you have to call out people for actual change to happen? Unfortunately, this reflects a growing problem that something that's happening in national parks all over the US, all over the world. It's not just this super bloom. It's the effects that our social media is having on public lands. So people are pushing more and more to get that perfect YouTube video, that perfect Instagram photo, and they're pushing the limits. And unfortunately, there's been a lot of deaths lately in the news of people dying trying to take a photo there's even one today of someone trying to take a photo off the Grand Canyon and unfortunately that cost them their lives so we have to think about how our actions and the way that we use social media is going to have an impact on public lands and on nature because it's not just about taking that photo and wanting to look like a flower child or one with nature, but you can't be one with nature and use that in your caption if you're actively harming the nature around you. I know that everyone has a little bit of an impact. If you're going on a hiking trail, you're disturbing wildlife, you can make that argument that anything you do is gonna hurt animals or an environment so why even try that's not really the case you can do recreation sustainably and you can enjoy these public lands sustainably but you have to be open to education on how you can better support the land in your actions and you need to really take responsibility for that and take responsibility for the fact that as influencers and for the people who are influencers people are looking up to you and looking up to everything that you say and that your actions have consequences so when you post a beautiful photo on protected lands where you're not supposed to be, that's going to tell people that it's okay to do the same thing. And then now you have 45,000 of your followers all doing the same thing because they saw you do it first. And that's just not okay. I don't want people to get hurt. I don't want the environment to be harmed. And unfortunately, after this poppy apocalypse, Lake Elsinore closed these trails. So what do you guys think about this? Leave a comment below. Do you think that calling out on people and public shaming is an effective tool? Do you think that educating people through social media is an effective tool? Feel free to subscribe to my channel for more environmental activist topics and videos about wildlife biology. Click the like on this video if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time.